Uh, Character Creator 5 just came out. Let's talk. So this is the very first look for me of Character Creator 5. I haven't actually touched it yet. You can see I'm downloading it. Let's see what happens. It is currently like 11.45 p.m. <laughs> I was just about to go to bed, but... So straight off the bat, we're in. I think we've got a ton of stuff to download. All the previous packs, for Character Creator 5 characters. Yes, we'll download them. Project CC5. So like I said before, I'm going through and starting to download some of the other stuff. Some Character Creator 5 down here. Some of my previous clothing. And then we've got a whole bunch of animations as well I'm going to be downloading. So that's good that it's still all compatible, which is awesome. This here is obviously the main guy that everyone's showcasing at the moment. Um, hopefully we can look at some others when they come through. But if you kind of just press play and have a look, the guy looks gorgeous. Like the beard, the hair looks nice, but I think it's more, yeah, that skin texture is great. And now obviously the beautiful thing about, I was going to say Copilot, Character Creator 5, is I'm just changing the resolution so it's a little bit easy for you guys, is it's all about all kind of like the facial um, features that we can change, the body that we can change. So as we go through, everything is still here, which is great. So we can obviously merge heads. Um, so if we've got a character profile that we already have that we quite like, we can take that, the brows, everything, the jaw. So if I go ahead and start maybe changing them around a little bit, let's give him a bit of a fatter jaw. And when I'm changing, obviously the light's changing, so that's why it's redoing it right. Okay, wait, go back, buddy. We can give him a bit more, bigger schnozzer right there, give it up, um, and we can give it the ridge. Is, that's that one there. There we go. Now he's got my nose. <laughs> and it's kind of like with all these body shaders, um, it's all relatively the same, which is fair enough. And I mean, for the fact is, is that we can change all this stuff is what makes Reillusion, I'm sorry, Character Creator 5, so good. I haven't updated all the morphs yet, because obviously, as you've seen, we've just downloaded this application. And obviously, very simply, as per usual before, we can change the clothes around. So just quickly open up one of the shirts, throw it on there, and whoops, let's get the previous one. There we go. Look at that. Much classier. There we go. It's delightful. Now we've got actor mixes at the top. Now I know they've spoken about that. Um, at the moment, still got to download everything. So we will do that at a later video. So make sure you like and subscribe and then we can talk about that some more. But if you're a Blender user like myself, we want to be able to take this character and put it into Blender, which is kind of like really important for us. So I'm just going to go File, Export, FBX, Clothed Character. Up the top here, we're going to change this to Blender. Um, I don't like embedding the textures because I don't want to embed the textures. <laughs> Let's grab our current animation and 60 frames a second, perfect export. And we'll just save that. I'm excited. And so into Blender, we've got the add-on that they've created, which is absolutely awesome. Um, let's go into Character Creator Pipeline. Let's import our character. F, temp, testing character five. Arr. And then if you ever want to delete a character, we can just go remove character and it'll clear everything, materials, textures, the mesh, the rig, and all that to clean up your blend scene. However, let's bring it back. Now, if we scrub through the timeline, we can see that we've got our animation. Now, the really important thing that you can see here is that there is no kind of like special rig. It's kind of just like the bones from Reillusion. However, if we go into ring animation, we can do Rigify. Now, just remember, there is an animation attached to this. So if we go now Rigify, it will hopefully, it should, transfer all the motion into the new armature, into the new rig, whatever you want to call it. There's something else really important. Ah, if the Rigify button doesn't work, I think there is an error that will appear to say enable Rigify. And we just go through edit, preferences, Rigify. And then you can see that we go through. Ooh. And it sets up a facial profile. How? That's cool. So if you want to do your facial animation uh, directly in here, you can, which is pretty cool because I've got all the sliders. Um, I think we'll talk about that later because, well, Add an AR kit proxy. 
clearly done a w lot of work with the blender add-on. That is awesome. If we go into render, obviously there's no lighting. So let's go scene, throw that in, and we'll just do that. So this is Eevee, which is not too bad. The glossiness on the eyes is a little bit too much, but the real magic is when we go to cycles and the character looks a little bit meh. But if we go into character build settings and we go from Eevee to cycles, rebuild the materials, just give it a sec. You can see now how like everything is cleaned up. Oh. I don't know about you, but uh, I'm pretty chuffed. So I'm just going to go ahead and just add a little bit more lighting in there like so. And that is looking delish. Plenty more videos coming out on this. So like and subscribe. Uh, Character Creator 5 link. There is one in the description. I won't lie. It's an affiliate link. So if you want to help me out with that one. Because um, I bought this outright. This is cool. And it is 20 past 12 now. So now I've got to edit the video.